Yo, what's good guys? Jip here, back again once again with part 6 of a plan on randomizing this lot. Last time out, as you can see in the top left screen right now, we do now have the forest badge, which means we did go and beat Gardenia. And then we went ahead to the Team Galactic Berlin, to Colin and Jupiter, disposed of our shooting how OP Marina is currently, got the bicycle, and it's now time to head out of Eternal City and go ahead and make our way on towards Hartum City. We definitely won't, uh, won't be doing stuff there today's episode, that might be next episode. However, we do ha still have a couple of things we can do today. So I've been asking recently, right, about the whole like, what to do with these extra encounters, like the Togepi that we got and the, the fossils that we got in the forest. So I'm gonna probably flash up uh, DG Danny's comment right now. And he did say, I believe, uh, to do with the Togepi, because it, uh, it's either randomized back into Togepi or because it didn't randomize at all to use it basically as a token, right? So this thing basically does exist to being used. So while it's not death, it is basically a token. So what I'll, name, I'll do, go ahead, I'll just name it as a token box, which means basically any past area or areas I'm going to come to, I can at any time choose to get an additional encounter in that route if I like the look of some of the encounters in there, basically, all right? And I'll try and go ahead and get a token there. So it'll be the same as we normally do. You know, go ahead and uh, first encounter in that area will obviously be the encounter I need to, to try and capture it, you know what I'm saying? So with that all out of the way, uh, I did also get told off camera about the root fossil that we have, right? Which obviously, you know, I've been told I can use it as an additional kind of like one of each unique type of fossil basically. So like I already explained in the uh, forest episode. So without further ado, let's get down to Cycling Road and let's make our way onwards towards Hartum City. Well, Orbrook City first to get the fossil, see where that is. But then Orbrook City, we've got quite a few different encounters, encounters we can get um, today. So yeah, let's just start, let's defeat these trainers on Cycling Road and then get, get on with getting on, you know? Also, last time as well, a few of them did actually evolve, so I'm actually going to see if I can use a couple of them here just to see like, how we're doing as normal trainers up to this point. If we're still struggling, we'll go back to Marina. Alright. I did have a look in Groville. It's meant to learn a very, very uh, good move at level 29. Uh, so, yeah, I put the XP sh Well, no, I haven't put the XP shield in, but I'll try and get up to that point if I can. And we have a seal. Um. Water ice type, right, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, let's actually go cast, but I didn't actually realize how good his defenses actually are, by the way. Until I looked at it a little while ago. Ice shard, yeah, there's nothing to us, because you might be surprised, but his defenses are surprisingly amazing, especially when it evolves into, um, not Dust Noir. What's the other one? Dust Gold, Dust Noir is the last stage. Dust Clops, that's it. All right, go, yeah. Also, I'm probably going to cut out quite a lot of these optional trainers as we go down here. Not all of them, but some of them. Just if they don't have anything too threatening to the uh, Nuzlocke that I don't need to show, you know. Yeah, use it. Junior, Psychic type, bite. Yeah, bite. This thing is trying to go for rollout on me, did it? Okay, uh, let's go over to Marina. I'm not chancing that. Growl is fine. I'm a special attacker anyway. Uh, let's go for Psybeam. Get this thing out of here. Nice. Lussle. Okay, that's easy enough. Save him. Bye bye. Said bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> and Kanga Scanner, pure normal type. We don't have any fine types, do we? Not that I know of. Uh, let's go over to Casper, honestly. Like, I don't know if I'll even be able to hit me. Will I even be able to hit it, though? Fair. Fair. I don't know why I always think that, oh, yeah, Ghost can definitely hit it when it can't, really. You know what I'm saying? Double beam. Alright, boom, there we go. Nice. Skitty, uh, let's go Fember. Good damage. We're going to do some good damage now that we've got an evolved form, honestly. Magnazone, I still electric type, so we should still do a good amount of damage here. That's fine. That might not be fine. Okay, we broke through, we're fine. How much XP for Magnazone? 903 XP at this point in the game, isn't it? At Teddy, so let's go for Ember again. Once we get like flamethrower late in the game, if things are alive, this thing's going to be a menace. And we get faint attack as well. I think faint attack is like mid-30s as well. Because like faint attack is basic stay dark move with stab, obviously. 
um, that just let really fan attack never miss either. It's one of those never miss moves, I think. I saw the infinity symbol next to it for accuracy, so it's like, we get that, we're looking good. Yes. Mysterious. Um, I think that's good against Ghost. Pretty sure. Yeah, but easy. Unknown. You're psyche, right? Should be okay. I think they won't do too much to me. Yeah, there you go. Easy. Okay, let's swap out you. You're a little bit weak. Let's go over to Gex. And the last person cycling road, let's see what you got for me. Nicholas Kayla, Lucario. That would have been a really good uh, pick for Hound Doom because obviously he's part steel type. Interesting though, we don't really have anything for this. Let's just try and Thunder Wave it, honestly. You get, you, see, you, get, you get fighting time move, you get, you get Bone Rush as well. I know that for a fact, you get ground type move. I tried to go for counter, oh my God. Uh, Maria, yeah, you come out here because I know you've got a, uh, you know, flamethrower on you. Force Palm, okay, that's fine. We should be able to take one pretty easily here. Even though that is pretty strong. Really? Twice you've been paralyzed turn one in this episode? That's kind of crazy, honestly. One rush. Yeah. Two, three, four. Of course, that's all five. The AI hacking as it usually does, but you call it in Gen 4 for some reason. It'd be nice if you just one shot this thing. Nice. That's a lot of XP as well because it's really evolved form. All right, before we do anything, we're just going to go and heal up in Orbuck's side, okay? Because if you've never played these games, let me just show you with something real quick. Not this person, by the way. Um, If you come out here, right? Remember how we were at Orbuck's side? This is the little route we couldn't get before because we never had a bicycle, see? Okay, so now we can go ahead. Actually, I think we need to make a based on our party to get this fossil. We are at Oberg City, so we're going to revive that root fossil that we got. Back in a... Uh, Brooding Fort. I don't know why I have to basically pit Oberg Woods. This is not Jane Free you're playing. Um, but, yeah. We'll revive the root fossil, see what it is. Hopefully something decent. What would I like it to be, honestly? We're missing an Ice type, a Fighting type, and an Electric type. Like, any of those three, really, I would take. Right off the bat, I would say. Um, maybe a good rock type too, because we obviously got the rock slide TM, so that wouldn't be half bad either. But let's just go see what we got, you know. So he, the only fossil that uh, we had, we give it to him. We go out here and we go back in, and then it revives. So let's go see what we got. That isn't random, is it? Okay. Cool. Well, I don't know what's happened. I've definitely, on static mons, definitely put the complete randomization option on. So that makes quite literally zero sense. But, um, yeah. I don't really know how, it works, how, how to explain that, really. That's actually kind of annoying why that hasn't randomized. So I guess what we're going to have to do in the meantime, then, is I'm not going to nickname this because we can't, can't use it. I guess that's a second token we get to use somewhere else. That thing will act like Togepi does, where like, it's a second like token, so I'll go and choose later on in the game at some point when I want to use an encounter token basically, all right? That's honestly annoying because I know for a fact that I like statics to be like, like if, if, I, if I get late in the game and Garotino is completely randomized, that goes to show you that like statics are like randomized. Like, I literally put normal oil encounters, static, and gift mod all to be fully randomized, and that just hasn't randomized for some reason, so... Weird. Don't fret though, guys, because we can still get a couple of new encounters here, honestly. That's Route 207, but this is Route 206. And if we bring a... Oh, we need to cast former buzz, don't we, to be able to cut down these trees. Be right back. Okay, we're back. This is Route 206, guys, so we can get a new encounter here. There's actually two new encounters we can get in this area. One being a cave and one being a Route 206. Let's go see what our Route 206 encounter is going to be. Actually, let's go on the front so I can find a way, but yes, yes he is. All right, cool. Let's see what our Route 206 encounter is. Normal encounter moves, guys, you know that still could be a legendary, so let's go see what we got. That is ironic as hell. Well, obviously the one that's booped claws and that species claws. Oh, we can be in Kenar. That is kind of funny, though. I can't lie. 
What's the time? An oval thorn? Isn't that like Prahapini or something like that? Yeah, certain species of Pokemon of all. I'm pretty sure that's how you get a Hapini into uh, Chansey. Oh, is either that or Chansey into Bliss? It's one of them. Right, well, let's try and get another one, then. Yes. Yes. Yes, please. T wave. Oh, if we can get the carry on our team, oh, that's going to be fire. Especially for those who have played Platinum, you can get rid of Lucario normally and the playthrough. Everyone knows how good Lucario is in a Jane Paul playthrough. It's absolutely insane. What can I damage this with that won't kill it now? I really need this thing on my team. I'm lacking a good fighting type. And it gets a lot of coverage moves too. Aura Spear doesn't miss, all that kind of stuff, you know? It's going to cast Park. I know your defenses are really good. Let's go with Nightshade. How much damage are we looking at? Hmm. Not ideal, I'd want it to be less than half, to be honest. Let's just throw a ball and see what we're looking at right now, honestly. That's paralyzed, I guess. Beautiful! Beautiful, we take those, we take those, we take those. I'm not going to do the thing where I go get another plush, by the way, I do have a Riolu plush. Like a much smaller one than the other two that I showed in the, in the last couple of episodes. I will take that. As I said before, Eevee and Shinx are some of my favorites. Riolu and Lucario is also in my top five. So, uh, because before Shinx used to be my favorite, like a long time ago, Riolu slash Lucario was my favorite at one point. So like, yeah, uh, that's crazy. Well, I know what I'm naming this thing right away. Um, if you guys have watched the Pokemon movie, Lucario and the Mystery of Mew, you will understand this nickname suggestion I'm gonna do it right now. So I'm going to go with the name Sir Aaron. Like I say, if you guys have seen that movie, you'll know who this character is. And you're already damn right that I'm going to be adding this thing straight. And I mean straight onto the team, by the way, over 10 years or so. But we'll wait, we'll wait. Um, for now, because uh, I can still go and get another encounter somewhere in this area, so yeah. What was I saying though? We're lacking a good fighting type. That is huge, by the way. I can't tell you how huge that is, genuinely. It's a fast, speedy attacker as well. It's a really good, like, sweeper type, like, you know, thing. And his defenses aren't, like, super free, like an Alakazam is either, you know? It's not got super bulk, but it's got a, a, a some bulk, you know? All right, maybe here. This looks more, more so, just slightly up. This looks more familiar. Could that guy with the spiky blue hair looks very familiar? Yep, there is. There's more on the left side. And the camera shifts up, that's how you know you got it. So this is Wayward Cave, guys. The secret egg, secret entrance to Wayward Cave. So I'm actually gonna go into the lower level and see um what we can get in this area. So whatever we get, it's whatever we get, you know. This will be our wayward wave encounter. Shut the f shop. If we get this, we've got a monster of our team in our hands. I don't expect to because as a pseudo legendary, I know just from playing Pokemon all those years ago how hard even Beldum's capture rate is. But like, that would be, this would be an outrageous team if we were to get this right now. Look how you make us in the same team. Well, as a set tile. Oh, it's got take 10. Okay, okay, remember that. Take 10. It can damage itself. Uh, let's just go with Absorb. Hmm. Okay. Absorb again. This is the thing. I've got to be careful about takedown. If I get low enough but not too low, where it will damage itself. Actually, you can't use takedown against a ghost type because it's normal type, right? So if we get into the near red area and go into Duskull, that should work. Okay. That's fine. So if he tries to go for takedown now into a ghost type, he shouldn't be able to land the hit. Yep, see, doesn't it affect Casper? Beautiful. He is not a water or a bug type, unfortunately, so we're just gonna have to ride our luck, guys, all right? This is the best we could honestly do. 
Yeah. So it's gonna be hard to capture. It's a pseudo legendary, guys, for for a reason. It's just instantly kicking it each time, guys. It's not gonna happen, I don't think. Yeah. Unfortunate. This is what I told you guys. Beldum's a pain. I think I I was thought two that could have been free. That could have been free. I don't know if I was free. I saw. I definitely saw two though. God damn it, man. I'll try the net balls too. Not that it's going to make a difference, but let's just see. High struggles. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Uh, that's the one thing about pseudo legendary, the way I don't like running into them, is you can do literally play that perfectly, get really low in the red, paralyzed, and it will still be a pain to capture. You know how I was telling you guys before about like, Maybe getting great balls after the second gym. If we had a great balls there, I reckon we would have captured that. But that's the reason why I was saving encounters to get great balls for just in case, in case something like that happened. It's annoying, but it's pretty. There's a couple of items in Wayward Cave, so I'll get them while I'm here, all right? Man, could you imagine that? Imagine we had like a Sceptile, a Houndoom, a Dusclops, a freaking Lucario, a Metagross, an Artillery, that. That'd be busted. That would actually be busted. Big pearl! Money, okay. Yeah. that. He also had Latias in here as well. That's my favorite, the Latias as well. That would have been nuts. Okay, now that one's actually a pain because that would have actually been somewhat catchable. And the Wartal. Nice. Oh my god. That was the final item in here as well. TM82 Leaf Blade. <laughs> as if, man. Because you know the funny thing is how we're talking about a certain move that Grover was going to learn at level 29. But one, you know, it was actually Leaf Blade that we were talking about. Oh my god. Wait, why is everyone able to learn that? Doesn't make it make, make sense. What? Why is everyone able to learn that? Oh, is everyone just able to learn it because like not everyone can learn rock slide. You're telling me everyone's able to learn. Why? Well, that doesn't make sense that. The only thing I can find that the reason for this is maybe this is where the location of a HM used to be in Platinum, and because I've got full HM compatibility, everyone can learn HM, maybe this is why everyone can learn it regardless. But I'm gonna give it to Groval because it's his signature, it's his best move, Leaf Blade, so... That was kind of obvious from the start, you know what I'm saying, so, yeah. And that's everything we would give out to offer, so I'll be back when we get back to Orbrook's Alright, let's continue on from where we were last time and see what happened, alright? But that was a big, big detail that I cut a lot of that how many characters I kept getting away with cave like every two seconds, literally not even joking. Alright, first of all, double battle. Alright, let's go. We have... Okay, that's actually kind of some power out there. Alright. Mm, how are we going to deal with this? I think either ghost types we can hit it with pursuit, honestly, uh, on the Garatina. And then we could probably Ember... Actually, we can bite into this double team into the Garatina, I would say. First of all, we are higher level. We should be faster than it. Ooh. I that was stab as well. I'm not sure if I like that. Okay, that's a crit as well. Scary face, okay. Rough, okay. Uh, Gex, 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 Gex. Let's T-wave the Tang, Rough. Yeah and by the Garretina, I would say. Okay, nice. Yep. Ominous Wind. That could have been very scary, honestly. But we got out of here, okay. Paralyzed, very cool. Um, that means I'm pretty much open to going for... I just got Pursuit. There's no point using Leaf Blade because kind of resist it, you know? Pursuit, Ember. Bro, that's still okay. Quick attack and Ember. Boom, there you go. That was actually quite scary though. Two really strong mods right off the bat there. Dang. I was since I am. And uh, okay, whatever.
I could just in Gengar. Okay. Ghost type. Yeah, I can just pursue on you and do a problem. Curse. Okay, that's fine. Level 25 a cast spot. And I also want to learn Pursuit now. Ooh, I will give that. I'll give you that. You know, that's not a bad move at all that. What will we get rid of? I'm um, probably disabled, honestly. Curse comes up. Yep, I'm going to swap. Agron's coming out. Uh, let's go into Marina then. And we'll use Bubble Beam. Bye bye. Next, we're going to go up through this way throughout the route because there should be a few items we can get here, including a hidden item of memory serves. Mawile. Okay, well, um, yeah. We, we can work with this. Let's go over to Houndoom. Sweet Sen, that's fine. Let's use Ember. Yep, that's gone. Cool. My cargo. Where's your cargo? Um, let's go into... Yeah, Marina. Bubble Beam. It's Rock Fire type. Four times a week. Goodbye. And then Lady Bar. Again, we're going to go right back into Alexa. And we are going to just Emperor it, you know? And easy. I think it's right in the middle. It's, it's definitely near here. I know that for a fact. Oh, it's very cool. Lovely. And what's this hiker got for me? Skip Loam. Uh, actually, I should sleep late on it. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have. Fair enough. <laughs> Alright, Alexa. Come on. Uh, Ember. Goodbye. Carry. Okay, let's keep this in. I mentioned this earlier. If we had Hound Doom fully carry, it would be good. Ember comes off. Probably gets it to at least the red. I didn't think it would one shot it. That was Miracle. We were done for there, by the way. If that was Miracle instead of Karen, our Hound Doom was just gone. Um. Luckily, I know Lucario doesn't get um, Miracle, it only gets counter thankfully out of those two moves. So, uh, yeah, we're well, lucky we use a special move. Because that was literally 1 HP, counter does double damage back. So, yeah, we would have just been gone, gone. Uh, Drowsy, Psychic type. Yeah. Get that in, and we'll go for bite. Yeah, lovely, nice. And a Houndura of its own oh, no. Okay, well, let's go into Marina. Which we can use Bubble Beam for and wrap the battle up. Dragon scale. Oh. Not bad, you know. Obviously, boost the power of dragon type moves, I'm pretty certain. No? What's the what's what's the, what did I use that for? Ah, Seed and the King Dra. Okay, cool. I think that I'm thinking of where it increases dragon type moves damage, dragon fine. I'm pretty sure. And you have got a Dead Carrier. Let's use Leaf Blade. Let's see how much damage we're doing. Because we do have the metal plate on this as well, so it'll boost up the power of Leaf Blade to over 100 base power. Good charm. Okay, at least, at least that missed. That's uh, fine at the minute. There we go, nice. Level 25, good. And we've got Cheruby, so that's Hound member. Easy. Pop. Also, oh, there's a here, by the way, we cannot get until we get into the higher stage of the Mount Coronet, and we're going to go to um, do the whole thing with Garatina later on in the game. And if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, done. Thought so. Thank you. How's your bonus coming along? Me, I'm somewhere between fantastic and uh, hopeless. This isn't about me having something nice for you. Which hand do you want? The right hand. I see you want the Versus Seeker. I'm a Priest Cube, you know what's important. Yeah, that'll be our way to make money later in the game if we need it, need it all. We also get the Dowsing Machine. She tells about a hidden item near here, which is like we picked up, which was the Contest Barry, so it's whatever, you know. Alright, technically we're going to a new area, but technically no, we've already had a main coronet encounter, so... Yeah. I still have two tokens I can use at any point, but I don't think I honestly need to use them, because... Our um, team's looking actually pretty decent at the minute, I would say, you know, come along now. Just the shits and giggles, though. let's see what we could have got in here. Why am I here just to suffer? Alright, here we go. I go into one theory, Mount Coronet is where the Sunrise region began. A newly created world. 
Our world will only time flowed and space expanded. There should have been no strife. But what became of that world? Because the human spirit is weak and incomplete, strife has spread. The world's been ruined by it. I find the state of affairs to be deplorable. It's interesting hearing his backstory and all that about like all looking into mythology of Sinnoh after like, you know, Legends Arcade has been a thing, you know? Also, that I am on the top left just now, guys, can't get that target surf. Same with the one down there as well. Alright, this is a new right, right? Oh, am I mistaken? No coronet. Route 208 is a new encounter. Let me just double check on the map. I think we were in Route 207, right? Yeah, this is a new encounter. New encounter. That's Route 207, that's Route 208, yep. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to skip over these trains if they have nothing threatening to our team. Uh, but if anything interesting happens, I'll cut straight to it, okay? Yeah, he's out. That was an Azuril. I should probably still show what I kill at the end of each trainer so it doesn't look like I'm just cheating against some guys off camera. No. Love this. Leaf Blade. Bye. This item is. Ooh! What a second Mystic War, you know? Okay. Not complaining. I saw a second one of those. Alright. Hey, if we get another water type, if we use Chloe stuff, not bad, you know? Magmora. Okay, now this is a little bit more dangerous. Let's go into Marina. Let's be honest, we all know what's coming here, don't we, lads? Okay, we landed it. Bye bye, Magmora. And this item is. An elixir. Okay, we'll take that. Alright, here's where we can get our encounter, by the way, for Route uh, 208. So. Takes in the front. Yeah, yeah. Let's heal him up though before anything crazy happens. You know, we do. We have went by. We have went and bought balls since that, um, you know, build them in Kenner. So, yeah. Now, what would I like here? Honestly, not a pseudo legendary until we get great balls at the very least. I would like to have maybe a star. We're providing a lot of stars in this episode. Thinking about what we don't have an electric ground or rock type that can be usable, I think would be good here. Ideally, Shanks would be amazing, but we'll see. Finish with Intimidate. Let's see what our encounter is, you know? I'll tell you that, I'll tell you that, Agron could be heat. I will gladly take that. So Agron is what, like rock steel, if I'm not mistaken. So it is quite weak to quite a lot of typing, but I'm pretty sure Agron is still pretty good overall. So heat wave, nice, cool. Mud slap, that's okay. Um, Let's go with quick attack. How much is that doing? Not a lot. Let's go with pursuit. Okay, we're starting to miss. It's gonna just keep using mud slap. All right, uh, let's go with do Casper. Uh, we'll go with Nightshade. Nice. Then we'll go back into Gravel. And then we will use Quick Attack. I got, I got an attack buff. Okay, we gotta be careful now. We kind of have to be a little bit more careful. I got an attack with prize. Casper. Um, let's just throw a ball at it. Let's see how we are doing. So it's paralyzed. Uh, it's like a uh, it's like a basic stage. Nice. Cool, we take that. I already know the nickname for this. There is a clip from like a movie like years ago that I haven't watched, but I saw a meme to do with it. And it's like the guy's like, you're done must messed up, AA Ron. I'll probably play the clip of it if I can find it in editing, but I'm not really gonna call it a a Ron with like that little like you know dashes in between. You done messed up, AA Ron! I know it's a female name, by the way, but it's too good not to use like the meme for it, you know what I'm saying? Also, a couple had names here. Oh, that's huge. That is a good aim. Charcoal. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, we will take that. Fire types are. Interesting. But imagine if we got a Charmeleon early in the episode. Wait, Char what am we on about Charmeleon? We got a Hound Dream on our team. Hello. How did I just forget that? Also, we got the Mystic Water and the Charcoal on the same route. That's crazy. Imagine we get the Miracle Seed too somehow. Oh, you got Nidorino, huh? Um, Poison Ground type, huh? Yeah, I think, I think I can survive one. Let's go Ember. Double kick, that's fine. Ember again, easy. And what else? Kingler. All right, now we spot, but Gink is low on health. So we'll go into him and then we will also um use a Super Potion. And then what we can do is Leaf Blade him. Up. Goodbye. And you have got for me? 
Omni. Um, yeah, these bladers. Bye bye. Sea King. Also, bye bye. All right, guys, and we're going to end it off there. Next episode, we will go ahead and explore. Well, not really explore, but like just head in Tottenham City and we're going to actually save the Hartham Gym till the fifth gym in the game. We can do it in Platinum third or fifth, but I'm actually going to do Veilstone third, the story of form and Veilstone fifth. I mean, Hartham fifth rather. So, yeah. Next episode, we'll go ahead, enter Hartham, get a couple new encounters, head up through, through, up through Celestian 10, all that jazz. I'll see what happens when we get around to it, all right? But if you did enjoy today's episode, be sure to leave a like. Comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Share the videos with your friends. And skip. Sign out. Have a good one. Stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Peace.